rips. That thing really rips. Holy smokes. Hello and welcome back to Out of Spec Scoots. I know it's been a while since we posted a video here, but starting now in 2023, a lot more action to come. We'll be covering e-bikes, scooters, and of course, other small electric vehicles here and uh, specifically lawn equipment, starting out with a pretty cool concept here from Vallejo. This is showcasing a lot of their electric architecture, a lot of their core competencies and motor controllers and motors to actually electrify this super cool lawnmower. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this, why it's so important that we go electric for small scale uh, lawn maintenance items. And then of course, I'll uh, even show you in action. They're gonna drive it around and show us how this thing works. So let's get into it. The lawnmower powered by Vallejo. So no secret, I'm no uh, expert on lawn care. If you guys have seen any of my videos from my house, our lawn's disgusting, really not great. So I don't know too much about it, but I do know quite a bit about electric motors and controllers and other things like that. So um, with California going, basically mandating all uh, uh, engines, I think it's under 25 horsepower to be fully electric, we need electric components for lawnmowers and fast, like really fast. The thing is, there's a lot of money in designing and engineering components for cars, very high value, 50, 60, $70,000 products. These certainly are arguably more important from an emission standpoint because it's very localized emissions in places where people live and children are playing. Um, and it's like there's not that much money in this compared to a big car, at least it's not as sexy. So I love that Vallejo is getting into the small market. Of course, you'll see some videos on these products over here where there's other smaller micro mobility stuff that we'll cover here on this channel. We've already done quite a bit with them on this channel. Um, and now we're back at CES for 2023 where they're showcasing their, uh, you know, electric technologies adapted for uh, lawn care in this case. So let me show you a little bit about how this works. Again, Vallejo's not making lawn mowers. They're making the components so that other manufacturers can make electric lawnmowers, which reduces their engineering cost and they get a much better product. We all know Vallejo makes some of the best stuff for small uh, vehicles. I drove the Citroen Ami last year on our reviews channel, my favorite car of all time. They make the drivetrain for that. Actually, that drivetrain is in this vehicle right here, which you'll see an upcoming video on as well. But this really, I think, um, can change change the landscape for uh, lawn care and, and really any small application for uh, uh, for any motor need because those lawn care systems are two stroke. Some of these are four stroke now. They're loud, they're dirty. Most of them don't have catalytic converters. And it's just like, that's not what we should be doing. We don't wanna be breathing that stuff in. So come back over here and let me show you what's going on underneath the back. So we have, I believe, a 48 volt system architecture here. These battery packs are sort of just adapted for the showcase whoever decides to buy their motor controllers and everything like this can actually package it however they want. But Vallejo wanted to make a showcase that fully works. We love showcasing these sort of prototy prototypes or, or demo units, which is really cool. The way that this works is three battery packs power, well, I guess even before I tell you what they're powering, there's five electric motors on this thing. So what's cool is they have two blades underneath that are powered by electric motors here. They're really actually underutilized in this case. Right now, this is a display unit, so they don't spin very fast because they don't want people getting their fingers cut off under there. But I think you can go up to 16,000 RPM. You could just crank the hell out of these things, which is pretty insane. Um, and so there's two there, two for each motor, and then there's one more somewhere else. So I'll get the info for you and give it to you before the end of the video. So five electric motors powered by these battery packs. This idea is that they're actually swappable. So you can pull them out and swap them. But of course, if you had a vehicle like an F-150 Lightning with vehicle to load functionality, 240 volt charging, or even a Rivian with a 110 outlet, you could drive your electric truck with this behind it in tow and charging it along the way. I'd like to actually figure out a way to make a cable that could run over a trailer. I know you could just drape a long cable, but there's gotta be a better way. That's really the dream, in my opinion. Have your work vehicle charge this from job site to job site. Um, what's interesting is the runtime. This particular spec, they've done some testing, is a 14 kilowatt hour battery pack. Each brick of batteries actually feeds a little bit different system here, but I imagine when it goes into mass production or when someone does this as a holistic package, the whole battery pack will feed all of the components evenly and you can charge and discharge them uh, really however you want. I, it's not needed that you need to go for these uh, swappable packs, but 14 kilowatt hours here they claim, and that gives you a good runtime of about 
five to seven hours depending on use, five being really worst case. So five hours of constant mowing and then you throw it on the back of a truck, charge it in what, a couple hours at seven kilowatts and you're good to go. That, that's really the dream right there. And um, what's kind of cool is they have a phone here. If you take a look, it'll tell you what all of the uh, motors are doing. So this is their, their controller logic. Of course, Vallejo makes some of the best motor controllers out there. And here it is visualized on a phone screen upside down for you guys now, but that's okay. You get the idea. You can get a sense of the RPM, the load, the power draw across the whole situation. Actually, this seat, I don't know how it does, but this seat, I'll lift it up here in a second and show you the actual controllers uh, for the motors under there. And uh, I just love the idea. I mean, these things have to get electric and they have to get electric fast. So why wouldn't you go partner with a brand that's been building electric vehicles for years and some of the most reliable and of course the coolest car on the planet. They do the motor for the Ami and I believe the Twizy as well, which is pretty sweet. So let me learn a little bit more about what's under the seat and I'll be back to present that for you in a second. And then of course we'll see it go around the track at top speed. And now we got this thing fully opened up and I'm going to show you some of the uh, behind the scenes action here. This is the stuff that Vallejo does really well. So if you take a look in here, the five motors, I've now got it figured out. These are actually the, the controllers and inverters for all of the motors. So you have your left wheel or sorry, your right wheel and your left wheel, three blades on the front. It, originally I mentioned there were two, but actually if I just tilt this back a little bit and you peek in there, you'll see the center blade as well super duper interesting um, let me show you some of the other controllers and things that come along with this as well so of course that's what's feeding all the power to each motor um, what's taking in all of the signals is this right here so this is your pcu or ecu basically controlling where the power is going taking all the inputs from you and really is the brains of the operation this right here is uh, your canvas data going out to the hmi which will be your your phone in this case but you could put in your own uh, proprietary screen if you wanted to. I imagine that's hard mounted. That's just how they've set it up for this demo, but that's totally up to the customer who decides to buy this. And then one last component just to show you in here, of course the battery packs running on 48 volts, but of course there's 12 volt systems as well. And that's run right here. So that's your basically DC to DC booster or conver converter, if you will. Um, I also got an idea of how the batteries are uh, arranged. So you have three blocks here for the right motor, three blocks here for the left motor, and then three, these three blocks are actually for the blades. But again, the end user, or I should say the end customer can choose however they want to arrange their battery pack architecture to fit in with uh, their controllers and everything else. So I think it's pretty super cool. I just want to watch it drive around really quick and then we'll call it a video. It's a nice day here in Las Vegas. Cool, not super hot. Patrick's hopping on the Vallejo demo unit here. He's going to give it the full beans. He was actually telling me they had to derate the power on the rear motors because it would just pop wheelies everywhere, which sounds incredible, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, but you need a lot of torque for mowing up steep hills and it sounds like this has more than enough. <laughs> Sounds like it even has some regen as well. Whoa. Zero turn. That thing rips. That thing really rips. Holy smokes. Oh, I think I need one of those, Alyssa. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Full slalom. Wow, look how responsive it is, too. Super sick. Wow, that is super cool. Thanks, Patrick, for showing us that. That was awesome. And uh, there, that's a video for you. Electric lawn equipment is coming. We'll be covering it right here on this channel, starting with Vallejo's motor demonstrations here and their controllers and all of the other stuff here. So if you happen to be uh, buying a unit, keep an eye. It might just be powered by Vallejo. See you on another Out of Spec Scoots video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.